Welcome back to the channel. This is about your basic small block Chevy oil pump and what's inside of it and how you can improve it just that much more before installing a new one. This is the old one that's all, yeah, it's crapped out, but that we're not putting an old pump into a new engine. But basically it's just looks like a supercharger inside. That's exactly how a root style supercharger works. Basically compresses all the oil sweeps it all the way around and comes and pumps it out basically sucks it up through pickup tube and this has got two rotor gears it's, a, it's very simple can't screw these things up now in my previous videos we talked about high volume oil pumps versus a standard volume oil pump and I, I kind of want to go into it because I talked about it you know that I was going to put a high volume oil pump into this motor and I decided to change that around just because of the bearing clearances. More bearing clearance you have, the more volume of oil you need, um, but also puts a lot of stress onto the uh, the cam drive gear, basically. Okay, we went with back with the standard M155 pump, which has the 5 8 pickup tube. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I went with this style, or a 5 8 instead of a 3 quarter inch, is that one, we were using this nifty little oil pump pickup retainer and they only come in 5 8 <laughs> for some reason or another. In a later video, I'm gonna show you how to put this onto this pump, how to assemble the whole pump and how to measure the actual where the pickup tube needs to be within the oil pump. That'll be a later video. I figured I could do a quick video just to show you a quick tech tip. You know, it actually improves the pump significantly. So you don't need a high volume oil pump. You can increase the the volume and also the cavitation at higher RPMs or decrease the cavitation at higher RPMs. And one of the main culprits of why he actually has cavitation on these smaller pumps of what most people think they are. Okay, first, very simple. I mean, we there's so many videos of clearances of where, how to clearance this, how to make this, you know, increase the, um, the clearance on the rotors. Some people actually, uh, deburr the edges over here. I don't find that unnecessary at all. Most of these cast pumps are pretty good from the factory as far as the finish and everything in here. That anything you polish in here really has a no effect. The machining of where the pickup is for the main cap is pretty good in here. I mean, unless you're a serious racer, yeah, doesn't make a difference. Now there's one thing that absolutely makes a difference on these pumps and, it, and it's like a, almost like a mandatory thing. And it's right in here. This is where the inlet comes in. Let me just show you on this pump real quick. So basically this bottom plate is this right here. And this is where the pickup tube goes to, okay? Now within here, the way they machine this is like in a two-step process. This is so you can have a, a press fit, slam this in here, you can press fit it into the actual thing. So they basically send the drill right through here and then it ends right there. So what, what happens is, is that it actually leaves like a, like, a, like a hard radius turn with a lip in there and it's really rough. So when the oil is trying to come up into the pump, it gets swirled around in there at higher RPM and it creates like a cavitational or like a disturbance. So like a, a, a rock in the wave, when, a, when the wave hits the rock, it, it gets diverted or anything. But basically all you do, let's see if that, I hope that comes through. You can see how I cleaned it up in there with basic Dremel tools. Very simple, very easy, came in and basically cleaned up all the casting marks right up into here, which dramatically increases the flow of the stock pump, or it, it, it decreases the resistance basically coming up into the pump. That right there is worth who knows what it is, but it's a nice mod, and I think it should be like a, a mandatory mod for any small block Chevy oil pump that you put in. And then we'll go and get into this of how this actually works. I prefer using stuff like this over welding. Uh, because I'm not a good welder and welding steel to cast iron is, you know, unless you know exactly what you're doing, it's it's a trap shoot. I've done this before where I've welded, you know, you know, your simple tack weld and it, it's moved around. You know what I mean? So this is easy insurance and we'll get into all of that later on. All right. Hope this helps somebody. Yeah. 